Oh, hello. Can you see me right now? I think not. I'm right here behind this very bench, and yet you see nothing. How? The world's first publicly available invisibility shield, that's how. Yes. Do you want to harness the power of invisibility? Do you want to act and look just like a bespectacled British boy teen wizard with an accent? Well, first you're gonna have to learn about the science of this thing. That's my deal. That's always my deal. Now entering the facility. The world's first publicly available invisibility shield is the brainchild of a one Tristan Thompson, the same ingenious individual who helped us craft the darkest place on Earth with their Horizon Black Vanta Black analog. Tristan reached out to us here at the facility because he thought an invisibility shield would be something we'd want to look into and explore the science of, and as of this video's publishing, you can now pre-order your very own invisibility shield. So today, before you rush over to get yourself one of these things, I wanna show you why these work and more importantly, how these work, okay? As I told you, that's extremely my ish. First and foremost, any non-fictional technology that simulates invisibility is going to be a meta-material. A meta-material? You mean like the stuff lizard person Mark Zuckerberg is building the future no one wants out of? <laughs> no, Aria. A metamaterial is any material engineered to have a property that is not normally found in naturally occurring materials. They are assemblies of multiple elements fashioned from composite materials such as metals and plastics. The assemblies on this invisibility shield specifically are long rows of tiny, precisely engineered convex lenses arranged in parallel. Normally, convex lenses like this would focus light to create an image, no invisibility here. But if you make the lenses just the right shape, as they are in the shield, they will spread a vertically oriented person's light horizontally across the face of the shield, making it diffuse enough to render it undetectable. At the same time, brighter background light from the rear sides of the shield is projected across the face of the shield and refracted towards the observer. The metamaterial in this shield specifically then obscures and diffuses the light from directly behind it such that it's hard to see the actual image of that object, while at the same time bending in light from around that object, effectively replacing the image of what's behind the shield with its surroundings. And a really cool way to see this effect happening in real time, and you can actually see it, is with lasers. You're going to be more careful with the lasers this time, right? <laughs> Of course I'm gonna be safe, Arya. I love wearing glasses that make me look like less hot cyclops. To show you what this carefully crafted metamaterial does in real time, I'm gonna sit behind this shield with ye olde laser pointer to represent the photons bouncing off of my body or whatever you wanna hide. You know that a laser pointer like this shoots a collimated beam of light into a point. However, when this beam moves through the shield like the light from my body would, there is no beam, no point of light. No matter how I move it, you don't get a point of light, but a smeared line of it. Now imagine all this happening to all the photons bouncing off of your body from every angle. Instead of a focusable image of you, you get something bent and diffused enough that it's not an image anymore, a kind of optical dead zone. Invisibility. So why does a shield like this equal invisibility? Well, first of all, it's because the rays of light directly from my body are not making it to you, but secondarily, it's because of evolution. Throughout all of human history, as we evolved, it's been evolutionarily beneficial for your brain to assume that light is always traveling directly to you in a straight line. This has been advantageous, but it can occasionally get you into trouble. For example, on a hot day, when it's heat shimmery out there and you're very thirsty and you look in the distance and you see nice watery wet water, a mirage, that's actually the blue sky. The light from the blue watery sky coming down to the hot air being bent by density and temperature differences to your eye and your eyes assuming it's coming directly from the ground. Now, not all animals have this. Birds, for example, when they dive into a different refractive index like water, their brains account for this discrepancy. But in a similar way, 
to the mirage. As the light from around me is bent in towards your eye, you're assuming that bent in light is actually coming from me, making this all the more interesting to your brain. Now, let's see how good this thing really is. Huh, spin move. We actually just discovered something really cool filming all of this. This invisibility effect, it's so strong with background horizontal strong lines and it's so good with smearing out more vertically oriented light or vertically oriented objects. Look how you can actually see through the fence here. That's in front of that corrugation, look at that the fence becomes invisible. Huh. Yeah, go ahead, sit, sit back down That's on the bench. so cool. And he's gone. <laughs> Look, they're all gone. So, full disclosure, a portion of the proceeds of the world's first publicly available invisibility shield will be coming back to me at the facility. Kevin's braces are so expensive. Why don't they teach you that in adulting class? So, I thought to myself, how could I prove to you that this definitely works? How could I put my money where my mouth is and stand behind this science literally? Well, I asked myself, what would be the one thing I would never, ever, ever want to show a public audience? Well, you're not going to do what I think you are, are you? Yes, I am going to, Aria. This is the only way to prove to you that this invisibility is passing at minimum and at best doesn't show any of my little bits. <laughs> it works, what do you want? I'm naked in a public space. <laughs> hey there gamers, I'm award-winning science educator and semi-clothed Thor, Kyle Hill. I made this video in conjunction with the Invisibility Shield Company today because I genuinely believe in and support this kind of ingenious entrepreneurship. This is something you can own, bring home, wow your friends and family, explore and explain the science with them. I like all of it. And today, the Kickstarter is launching right here or in the link down in the description. And best part of it is, and another reason why I'm making the video, Part of the sales of these shields will go towards supporting all of our nerdy work here at the facility. Look, if you wanna be as close as you're ever gonna to get to being a bespectacled British teen with a wand, you better pre-order one of these today. If you do, know that they work best against indistinct backgrounds like landscapes where it's easy to hide an image or uh, backgrounds that have strong horizontal lines to confuse your brain. If you do end up having one of these, make sure to send me pictures eventually because I want to see how invisible you can get. <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense. I'm not wearing pants. Until next time. Please put on some pants. It's cold. Ugh. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat which comes out next week, if you want to see videos early, if you want monthly members only live streams with me, <laughs> not like that, you can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on Aria in each and every single video. And as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds of you. I don't even know how I'm gonna pass the time while all of this happens. Look, as I said, any realistic invisibility making cloaking device is gonna have to do something with photons of light. It has to interact with the things that carry the information about what the image is. So you're either going to have to make that image not interpretable by your brain, or you're gonna to have to move those photons out of the way of your eyes. There's no real way to get to realistic invisibility without manipulating the photons themselves. It's not something that just happens. What, 
Wait, who do you think who do you think we are? Some some small accented man that lives under the stairs? Never. Thanks for watching. I'm invisible. Kevin, if you could 